So Jensen Huang was up on stage at their big conference, NVIDIA's big conference, GTC. I want to give you what I think are the most impactful things that he announced, and we can we can argue about them. But uh, I think that they speak to where his priorities are at, and I think that's what matters. Uh, so first up, they're continuing to evolve on chips. That's the core of their business. They announced the Rubin series, which will come after Blackwell. Their second Blackwell uh, iteration is going to come in the second half of this year, and then they'll be on to Rubin next year and into 2027. Uh, take all of those timelines with a grain of salt. They struggled to get Blackwell uh, at appropriate yields in production last year, so they're just rolling it out now. Chips are more magic than they are science in some ways, so we'll, we'll sort of see, but apparently it's going to be the usual, right? Cooler, faster, more memory. The stuff that investors want to hear is what Jensen is delivering. Let's move to applications. He is pushing robotics and he is pushing cars, uh, and I think that's really interesting. The other thing he's pushing, of course, is their little sort of workstation that they're doing for on-premise. So if you're a developer, you can run a local model. I don't see that consuming a huge number of his chips. I do think like the core chip series getting into server racks is obviously the heart of their business. And then moving into household robotics, he unveiled a little R2-D2 kind of a thing. And then getting into cars. Um, and I think it's a partnership with GM that he's working on. Those will be significant. Those will be drivers for the business long term. The other one that seems speculative, uh, they're continuing to invest really heavily in the Nemotron models, which is a fork of Llama, which is Meta's sort of core based model. Uh, I think Jensen claimed it was better than DeepSeek. It supercharges agents, blah, blah, blah. Great. Fine. Uh, my question is, how does it supercharge your business model? How does having Nemotron help a customer stay in the NVIDIA stack? And I think that's one of the really interesting questions because most enterprise stacks are inherently sort of multi-tenant. And part of where NVIDIA has won is by basically having the hardware heart of the stack locked down. Like you may be multi-tenant in other places, you may have multiple models, you may be a multi-cloud enterprise, but you're still gonna be on NVIDIA hardware a lot of the time. I am curious if they're able to figure out the secret sauce to have that same kind of grip on baseline LLM driven operations. And I think one of the ways they might do it is as AI applications scale, you're going to have different intelligence levels needed for different applications. And you may have premier stuff that's fancy like research or whatever that you wanna do with a cutting edge chat GPT model, a cutting edge model from Anthropic maybe, who knows. Uh, your, your engineers probably will be using Anthropic when they code, sure. But you're going to have, because this is now the AI economy, tons and tons and tons of little AI apps running. And I wonder, I just wonder if part of the pitch that Jensen is going to have his sales guys bring to enterprise is you're going to have hundreds and thousands of applications that are small AI modules. Why not get something that is from NVIDIA that is built to run agentically, that has our own sort of reasoning attached to it, that is designed to run effectively on NVIDIA hardware, and all of your basic household everyday apps as an enterprise can run on that kind of a stack. And if you want fancy stuff over the top, that's fine. You can go grab another model. It's just a guess, but that would be the sales pitch I would make that would enable me to drive lock-in from an NVIDIA perspective, which is kind of what they want, is they want to kind of keep people in the ecosystem. And a lot of how you read the conference is basically how does it reinforce their business model? So those are the things I think that are standing out to me. We can obviously go farther in. Jensen continues to love leather jackets, and I know that's what you were worried about. Um, and he apparently was using a t-shirt cannon, so pretty standard sort of, how do I put it? Pretty standard shenanigans for a conference. Uh, I will continue to keep you posted through the week as we uh, move forward, but I figure robot cars, R2-D2, getting some new chips. These these are pretty decent keynote startups for or, or key, keynote starters for the first day of the conference. Cheers.